What's up guys, Joe here with Joe Martin MVC, and today we're just going to go over a couple of quick things that are coming up with the channel. So as you know, we still have our computer build video that is uh, steadily coming along. We're getting there, slowly but surely, because there's a lot of callouts and things like that that Josh is doing for us, so we'll have that soon. As for other things that are coming up, we will have a few product comparison videos as well as product reviews. So we've got those kind of in the pipeline, just getting the scripts and all the footage for those. We still have some work on the Prius that needs to be done and some videos that will be coming out for that. Uh, we also have a product testing. So I noticed that Turtle Wax had a new ceramic polish, which we're not going to talk about the naming convention, but a new ceramic polish is supposed to be a uh, polish and ceramic coating all in one. I expect it to be more of a sealant, but I want to try that out, see how it works on the Prius compared to some of my other favorites, such as uh, McGuire's M105-205 or Ultimate Compound. Uh, probably more ultimate compound more so than anything. But beyond that, we still have a couple of small things for the house itself. Uh, on the windowsill videos, we have the little piece that goes underneath the windowsill. Uh, all it actually is a piece of door casing, but uh, show how to cut that and how to attach it. And then obviously do all the silicone and caulking as necessary. Put that piece in because a lot of people don't realize that's actually two separate pieces for the windowsill and then the trim underneath. They think it's all in one. Definitely not, thankfully, because it'd be super hard to create otherwise. And then a few other things for the house. Um, well, more of just repairs in general. We'll be using body filler for meant for cars on woods and different trims to to fill in and uh, create a better finish instead of just using the epoxy that we've been using. While the JB Quickwood epoxy is excellent and does a wonderful job, it's very hard to get into the little tiny little grooves and cuts or scratches or anything like that uh, because it is a thicker epoxy you know it's a multiple clay essentially so i'll go through how to use uh, essentially bondo or body filler for those smaller scratches and show you how to work with that a little bit to uh to get a nice quick and, and easy finish on it uh, you can use the quick well uh, quick wood for it. it still works just fine it's just you know it hardens out to as hard as wood and <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to sand so if there's something that you know you use the quick wood for the base layer for that we have the structural integrity and then add the uh the body filler for you know just the finishing touches it's gonna be a lot easier for you so we'll go through that that's a new video that's coming out uh i actually haven't even recorded for it yet because i have to go buy new body filler i had some but uh when you leave it in like a 140 degree garage for a year it uh, it dries out it's not good anymore fortunately it's only like 20 bucks a can and it goes a very long way so we'll be getting some of that to go over how to use it, how to mix it up, and how to apply it properly, and then how to sand it, and then show you know, painting all that and make it look pretty. Uh, things around the house itself, once again, we're not going to have a whole lot going on when it comes to the DIY and how-tos for a lot of the stuff in the house, because a lot of it is not really uh, beginner-friendly or DIY-friendly. So we're not going to go into those, but we might have you know a video on cabinetry and building those, because I will have to custom build my cabinets and custom built the vanity for my bathroom. So we might have a video on that and I haven't decided what I'm doing for the countertop yet in that bathroom. So we might have a countertop build video as well, depending on what I am deciding. Uh, as for anything else going on in the house, we don't have too much. Uh, I will be pouring a driveway soon for the property. So I've thought about making a video on that. Not too sure if we will though, because once again, it's not really a DIY or uh, you know user-friendly type type project, but maybe we'll just do like a small time lapse to see how that actually goes through and how everything is made for that. Uh, but if you guys have any recommendations, anything you'd like to see, or uh, if you want to join me on my other ventures here with Twitch, uh, you know, any games you want me to play or see me play, let me know. Join me on, on Twitch. It's twitch.tv forward slash Joe Martin MVC. I try to stream every day. Uh, it doesn't happen every day, but I try around 5 or 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I usually go for a couple hours, depending on what the game is. Uh, for example, I've been doing a lot of augmented reality Beat Saber. I usually only do that for about an hour or so because I'm a little out of shape, and that's about all my uh, all, all that I can really stand before my shoulders start to kind of ache too much. Uh, other things, uh, a lot of older games, Diablo 2. We're going to have some Super Nintendo runs uh, of older games. We're going to have some classics there. We're going to go through... Uh, the Mega Man and Mega Man X Legacy Collections. Uh, that's going to be brutal on me because I'm not good at those games anymore, as I learned not too long ago. Uh, then we also have some newer games, things such as Trial of Mana, Code Vein, uh, 
Dark Souls 3, things like that. So if there's a game you'd like to see me play, by all means, let me know. Drop in the comment section below or join me on Twitch. And, you know, if you do a, a follow on there because follows are free, you'll also get the notifications whenever I go live. And I'd love to chat with you guys on there. And as always, there's also the Discord channel that we have that is going to be in the comment section down below. Make sure to join me on that. Uh, I'll always you know, happily chat with you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And I can help you with any projects that you have as well. Otherwise, that's really all I've got for today. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell so you stay up to date with new content that comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.